Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight. Welcome back to EU4 as Fiodoro. When we last left off, we were engaging in Operation Total Non-Ending War, in which we basically just fight the HRE for forever, really. I mean, it can't really be that difficult, probably, maybe. Yeah, I didn't really figure that was gonna <laughs> that was gonna work. Would have been cool if it did, but it's it's just not happening. Oh yeah, and we also failed once again to get a member of our delightful clan on the throne, which is always unfortunate. The Ottomans actually don't hate me too terribly much. Which is good, I suppose. Um, yeah, they're also eating Ock Koinlu over here. Wow, Ock Koinlu is actually winning. That's probably because the Ottoman army is just, like, somewhere else, and as soon as they get down there, we're all just gonna die, and it's gonna suck. Also, Austria is busy over here instead of doing anything useful, and we are attempting, as best we can, to, uh, yeah. Actually, I wonder. Let's see. This will cause 24 overextension if we do it here, and 32 if we do it here. Okay, so it's a little bit more because of, you know, the whole being, uh, because they're not really a co-belligerent sort of thing. So it might actually be better to just leave these, uh, you know, siege down and then just take everything in a single piece. Hmm. Well... I mean, we could do that. Yeah, sure, why not? Have access, just don't kill me, please. All right, so yeah, we're also in the process of figuring out how to get rid of these nasty, nasty people who are fighting us and generally causing nasty, nasty pro- Oh, God. Oh, we won. Well, that worked out nicely. 94%. Okay, good, so we get all the money now, basically. Uh, let's see, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'll just lose the prestige. I don't really care. So what if my king's wife is... You are a king, right? Yeah. So what if his wife is screwing around with some other dude? Yeah, we we probably want to try to minimize those... Those, uh... Problems that we have. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, Austria, if you could be so kind. Oh boy. Oh yeah, but I did kind of want a separate piece of these so I could try to core them before, before the war, uh, or before, yeah, as long as the war is, if, if we have a core, then Bohemia can't be a dick and be like, hey, give that land back, and then I would be, uh, somewhat, somewhat, mind you, obligated to say, oh, yeah, I guess we'll give it back or else everyone's gonna hate me. I don't want everybody hating me, except I, like, really don't care. Oh, sweet, what's this? That's good, actually. And inflation reduction, not a bad thing. And I think the most important thing all of this is that if we can get Provence out of this war, then we should. Oh dear, we actually, what was this? Oh, Great Britain, right, right, right. We could, we could call, oh God, we could call them in. But I think we all know that's, Probably not happening anytime soon. Also, boop. We're ahead enough in time that I feel comfortable doing that. Yeah, I'm gonna fight this guy. I may get a crossing penalty. Let's see, free movement versus two movement. Can I uh, swap you out for anyone who has better? No, no I cannot. That's unfortunate, but you know, life goes on. All right. I could actually just get Provence out of this war right now. Make my life a bit simpler. So I guess the scary part about all this is that sooner or later we are gonna end up in that always awkward position where... Ah, hell. Ah, hell no. Hell no. Alright, we gotta get a 20 stack over there. I mean... Now I, now I see why we're losing all this money all of a sudden. Now it's, now it's all clear to me.
What? Just happened here. Who's all in here? Provence, Switzerland, Provence, Swi oh, all right. I suppose the moral of that story is pay attention to what the hell you're doing. All right, let's see, who are you allied with? Hamburg, Hess, Genoa, Saxony. Well, actually, I don't really care too much about Genoa, honestly. Oh. Oh. Really? You're at 45% and yet this isn't good enough for you. I mean, I'd kind of prefer the war reparations above just about anything else we could get. At least you're going down there. All right, so we're losing money because of, oh God, don't lose the capital. Who is this guy, Nitra? Damn. They were so close to sieging that and then they left. All right, this is not good. All right, let's, uh, they okay, still won't sue for peace. Now, I really don't want to call Great Britain in because, oh, actually, no, I don't want to because we're going to have bigger fish to fry. But then again, having some people over here and, you know, that's obviously really bad. How about now? Still no. Oh Lord. Give me strength to win this war and not die like a scrub. I can dream. Alright, Fortress of El Sass is getting sassed. Okay, just... Okay, good, you're... you are... on the way. The love of God. I mean, this is gonna siege out first. Ugh, all my valuable land. This is why you build... This is why you build your stuff, Gaslight. This is why you build forts. Fortresses. But no, you were too good for the fortresses. You didn't need fortresses. Fortresses are for suckers, you kept saying. Well, who's the sucker now? Uh, it's me, obviously. Damn. Oh, oh, oh! Might be able to get Bohemia out of this war. And now we're greedy. Wonderful. We definitely needed that. Oh, good. I won the Battle of Theodoro. Okay, can I get you out? Damn. They won't leave yet. Stupid enemies. All right. Let's uh, siege back our land so we can actually make some money. Oh, Lord. It's going to be just sieges and death and despair all around. Might as well siege out the rest of Savoy. Okay, good. Now we can take their money. Freaking out a little bit here, I have to admit. All right, let's see here. We want you to break your alliances with, like, the rest of the HRE, if we can. I guess I don't really care. Eh, I don't really care about all of you. You know, just so I don't have to fight them again. All right, we got some more money. We could invest in admin ideas, but I don't really care. At this particular point in time. All right. Now, we really just need to, like, siege out more bohemian clay here, and then we'll hopefully... Hopefully be in a good position to, you know, not die. Because, you know, generally not dying is good. Oh, I've got so much to focus on here. Alright, so that alone has brought us back up. I really should just invent... How much would it cost to get a fort in here? That would take a bit. And if I put a fort here... Actually, let, let's figure this out. Because the AI can sort of cheat with forts. By which I mean, it's my understanding that apparently, like, if the AI has access through, like, an alternate route, like, I don't know. Let's say if they could, like, go all the way around here, but I had, like, a wall of forts here, they'd just be able to go through these forts. Or so I hear. The fort rules in this game are honestly kind of... They're all over the place. Probably need to kill that anyway. I mean, let's look at our numbers. I mean, yeah, we outnumber them anyway. We don't need to bring in reinforcements or anything crazy like that. We just need to keep sucking up to the various different nations here and pray to the rim gods that we don't die. I mean, wrong game, but, you know, 
Phil. Who is this? Oh, Galray's all just this. I mean, if I can piece them out. The important thing here is that it's gonna be constant wars and like piecing people and then piecing other people and then just praying to God that we don't die. And crying. There's gonna be lots of crying involved in this, uh, the remainder of this campaign. I can almost guarantee that. Where the heck is Bohemia anyway? I mean, frankly, they should stop bothering me. Just let me conquer what I want and focus on... Focus on getting rid of the real enemy, the Ottomans. Because, you know, the Ottomans are the real enemy here. Alright. I mean, to be honest, how's your debt load looking anyway? It just keeps doubling every time we look. What the hell is wrong with Russia? Just delete your army for a couple of years. And, you know, come back when... I really need to do something about this Alsacian army. I mean, they might be willing to peace out at this point. Maybe. Alright. How do you feel about me, by the way? They don't actually care that much about my aggressive expansion, so that's a, a small mercy. I could always royal marry them. Might make them love me a little bit more. If I could also ally them, that would also be good. In fact, if I royal married them, they probably would ally me. Can I uh, pick up any like policies that'll increase the number of relations we can have? Force limit, missionary strength, blah blah blah, culture conversion. That wouldn't be terrible right here. I mean, the extra religious unity and lowered unrest, that would at least help us with our rebel problems. Standardized is Yeah, 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 the drill stuff. Not a terrible thing, but it's probably not what we want right now. And yeah, we gotta do something about these guys. There's a lot of stuff we gotta do about a lot of people. And who boy. It's gonna be a fun ride as long as it lasts, anyway. Actually, you. Where, where are you going? You know what? Instead of... You go over here. Seize Jout Nitra. Niter. Niter. Whatever your name is. Get rid of them so I don't have to worry and look at their ugly faces anymore. I should consider giving Austria some of Bohemia's land. But again, I'm kind of scared to do that because they're probably going to culture convert it into German, which just means more to conquer later because the AI... The AI knows my master plan. They know what I'm trying to do. All right, if I can get rid of all sass now, then at least uh, they might not, you know, siege all my land over there. Still not willing to do it. Oh, Lord. What an age we live in, huh? All right, they're running away. Is, I guess, a small mercy. I really should just build a row of forts along our border. I mean, it's not like we don't have the money. In fact, we, ha we had a fort at Trebizond. Would have made a lot of sense. But, you know, here we are making nonsense. Oh, wait, look, they're sieging that out. Oh, good, and they sieged. You know, Austria has a lot of really weird random land. I think when we inevitably betray R Austria, I almost called them Rostria for some reason, we should, like, conquer a nice little, like, protective border here. Because I don't think the Ottomans will attack us, again, as long as we have the appropriate alliances. Um, let's, uh, let's, uh, get Galray out of this war if we can. Yeah, see? And we're gonna get war reparations, which is always pretty cool. And, I mean, to be honest, attempting to break up a lot of these alliances is probably be interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so that got rid of them. We've got Memming in over here. Ooh, if I could just piece them out, that would be pretty nice. Actually, you know, I'm going to ignore them. This is like all stated land. This is not stated land. So, yeah. And also, yeah, we, we've, we should have done this a long time ago. Well, I guess we have to wait a few more months, but I'm just going to put a fort on this. Blow them down. He's the load. Unburden the burdens and stuff. Alright. 
Let's see. Bemingen, dude. Want your money and... Oh, well, that's interesting. They're actually really valuable. Uh, again, massive, massive coalition. I mean, half these people, in fact, Interestingly enough, it looks like the coalition is mostly just HRE members. That's kind of merciful. Oh, I only get I don't get much of their money. Oh well. Some money is better than no money. The coalition is scary though. <laughs> oh boy. Oh goody, I can piece them out now. And this time I'm gonna keep that fort. 43. Damn, these wars last forever, don't they? Alright, so that took care of them. We're gonna have a whole bunch of random rebels. Which actually tells me I should probably just kill those rebels now and we'll worry about these guys later. Meanwhile, of course, we got a little bit of this. Yeah, what the heck, we'll uh, get old St. Michael back in here. St. Michael the boss man. Alright, Bohemia, how much cash do you got on you? You'll actually give me that cash. Can I give you sell sell prog? No. That'd be crazy. I mean I could I could attempt it. But it's probably not in my best interest, is it? Or then again, yeah, if I give them this land like to Austria, oh it doesn't actually raise their opinion of me at all. Ah, what the hell, I'll give it to them anyway. It's Austria's problem now. Good. And also it keeps the, um, keeps the war or truce longer, which is generally for the best, probably. Alright, good. So we've almost taken care of all the various troublemaker type people. This is going to be annoying when that pops up, but, you know, life goes on. Oh, good. And we can also build this fort at long last, so bop it up. Wow, two and a half, or almost three ducats a month. That's crazy. No, 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 Switzerland. You're you're gonna be fine. Also, what's gonna happen when I eat up all your land? Okay, what's German here? Okay, that's all German. All right, what's the coalition looking like? Holy hell. Yeah, but it's like basically all... Oh, hell, and he's, uh, he's reformed as well. And by reformed, I mean, yeah, these guys are both. But France wouldn't join the coalition, at least not yet. Okay, he's Protestant, so they won't really care as much. All right, we just need to wait a few more months on that one. Okay, so this is going to be very, very interesting. I mean, I'm going to be 125% honest with you. I don't know... I don't know that I'm actually going to be able to manage this coalition, but if I do, it's going to be funny as heck. It's going to be constant, non-stop wars. The Ottomans are definitely, probably going to take advantage of that. I would. Though, to be honest, I've actually seen the AI start forming uh, coalitions and attacking certain other, other AIs from time to time. Well, I could just, you know what? Oh, yeah, just give up. Give up one ducat, or one set of ducats. There we go, beautiful. All right, so we'll wait until February of 44 before we peace out. Oh, and we're gonna have to immediately go to war again because, you know, we're gonna have this whole Switzerland deal going on. All right, so that gets rid of them, which will uh, get the AI to kind of leave me alone. All right, at least for a while. But that's the whole name of the game here. It's just constant, non-stop, endless war. Oh god. Coalition is forming. Oh, I touched Bavaria though. I could actually... Who's in this coalition? Bavaria and Holland. Alright. Who's Bavaria allied with? No one I can touch and go to war with. Alright, I gotta probably start this war now before... <laughs> oh well, you know, one war ends and another war begins. Oh, but then Bohemia is going to join. Damn. That's something I forgot to account for. Is the, uh, yeah. The, just, okay, there goes, oh, oh god, oh god. 
Yeah, this is not going to end well at all. How how big is this coalition? That's a lot of nations. Hmm. Now I wonder if any of these guys are allied to someone who is not in the HRE. Like, are you allied to anyone not in the HRE? Doesn't look like it. But yeah, because if, if one of them is, then we can declare war on that person, call the coalition member in as a co-belligerent, and then that'll, uh, actually that might bring in Bohemia again anyway. Yeah. Of course, then again, the, the plus side to this is that I if I start this war, I could theoretically... Could theoretically end up, uh... Effectively... Uh, dis oh god. Dismantling the HRE. From the inside. Well, you know, because if, if we're at war with everyone in the HRE anyway... Yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. Oh god. They- oh, oh, and I just realized, because Russia is massively in debt, they're- They're not going to help me, are they? Like, if we were to get attacked. So, I mean, then they've got 4,000 in debt. I mean, do I just cut Russia loose and try to ally with someone else? These are important questions. Yeah. Oh, and they won't royal marry me now. Okay. Well. Of course, then again, if they declare the coalition war on me, I won't, or that won't bring Bohemia in. I mean, is Bohemia really a, a big deal at this point? Yeah, they're a pretty big deal. I'm pr at least I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Like, if... If they declared war on me, then Bohemia is not going to join them, probably. I can dream. I can dream a pretty dream, and probably dream. Uh, well, it's going to end in failure. I mean, all right. So how do I do this? How do I do this? I mean. I'll be honest, considering how much l oh no, 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 no. Oh yeah, this is- oh, it's- that unlawful territory thing is like the big- the big thing that's biting me in the ass right now. As he did call that. Hmm. Oh, and I've got to give Austria land or else they're going to be mad at me. But then again, how, uh... Okay, 27%. So if I give some of this land to Austria, you know, it might not end up being a total loss. I don't suppose it's possible to ally with the Ottomans, is it? Theodore is at war, Ottoman opinion of me. You know, if I... You know what, let, let's, uh, let's, let's attempt this, because if I had the Ottomans on my side, then I don't really give a damn about anyone else. Let's attempt this. I mean, we could break it off of Russia. How do they feel about my aggressive expansion? They basically do not give a damn. What is this? 30 ducats and war reparations? Yes. That's good enough for me. Alright, so... Oh god. How do you guys feel? Oh, thank god. It's very minimal. Yeah, let's, um, we're gonna be sitting on this until 44 anyway, so... Basically, the idea is suck up to the Ottomans, maybe break it off with, uh, with Austria. Let's look at our coalition map mode anyway. Yeah, we are... pretty much boned, basically. Is, uh, yeah. We're, we're boned, basically. Boned, bone, ba bone, bone, boned. But again, if, if, if we somehow get the Ottomans on our side, and it, it might happen. Probably not, but it might happen. 
we yeah we, we basically have won because we can declare all the wars we want and no one will dare bat an eyelash at me because who wants to go up against like 300,000 guys and then I don't even have to go to war with the Ottomans that's thinking with the old noodle oh and if I'm lucky by sitting here for like 10 million years um, yeah, Austria might eventually peace out on their own. But that's good. Hmm, yeah, I'm gonna build at least one more fort here. I ideally want to put one here, here, and here as a bit of a wall sort of thing. This it's gonna be very close, but I, I've got a good feeling about this. Of course, I should probably also be putting forts here in this land. Yeah, I probably don't want to do that. Don't care too much about that. That's okay. Yeah. Alright, so we just sit on this for two more years. That'll be fine. We're probably gonna get the whole call for peace dealy. But it should be okay. We'll be we'll be fine. Perfectly fine. Yeah, I mean we've got uh we've got these guys to worry about anyway. Heck is doing okay. Again, we're gonna probably fall behind on this. We're we're actually not too far away from the whole uh, whatchamacallit, Cassus Belly, where we can basically just declare war at will for whatever reason you could possibly imagine. Go away. Alright. Anyway, yeah, so we're gonna sit on this. Peaceful like. And Yeah. Massive coalitions. Things are going to explode tremendously on us when when uh, our truces wear out. Ooh. Oh, and you are in the coalition. Right. Yeah, this is going to be big. But we need someone who is not Russia to, to come in and help us because Russia's going to screw us over at the first chance they get. We need we need the Ottomans, or the Ming, but the Ottomans are far more likely. Okay, good. So with that in mind, let's wrap this episode up here. Pray we don't get immediately explodinated when we come back. And, are you- oh, we have no one else to- we can't buff up our allies anymore, so... Let's just keep, uh, focusing up on this. So yeah, again, thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button, or maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking, and I will see all you in the next video.